Hi, how are you? Thank you. Hardly welcome to the new driver assistance package in the S Class. Okay, let's let's go and see. I mean, we already did, we did some pretty impressive demonstrations there. So, what parts? It's uh, what part of the system is this? This is uh, the comfort part of the system now. Okay. I want to introduce you to the speed adaption. Okay. Based on uh, the map, so we uh, take the map into the system, and now the system knows where you want to go and can react on every. Um, things on at the street like junctions roundabouts curves toll stations and in react in what form like uh, controlling the speed or like steering or what so it, it uh, will adapt the speed um, for, before the map event and after that uh, the vehicle uh, resume to your set speed okay so this is one I want to show you today this speed adaption is uh, dependent on the dynam dynamic select so if you're in sport sport plus so comfort if, exactly or in echo so uh, first of all, I, um, I think you have uh, announced it already. So um, our um, the Distronic um, adjustment is now at the steering wheel, not anymore behind at the lever. So everybody can see what he is doing with the system. Okay, yeah. So you get the, the the functions there. Yeah. Correct. So perfect. So let's get off. Now the Distronic Plus it's connected to the GPS always. Correct. Or the, the, the it has to be the Distronic Plus always on, or if you were with navigation, it will also like detect like speed limits and stuff. Um, the Distronic uh, will be set on by, by driver, and uh, it uh, takes the map. Uh, it will take the map if available. And in general, oh, in okay. the S Class, the map is available all the time. Um, not only for speed limits. Uh, now it takes the map for curves, roundabouts, toll stations, junctions, turns. That's all. I can overrule all the time the set speed done by the speed limit assist, so the driver is all the time the master in the vehicle. And responsible for the ticket too. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> and there will be an automatic photograph at the round at the loop, so maybe we can arrange a <laughs> ticket. <laughs> no, I don't thank you. Well if you're driving and you wanna take it, I don't know. You have a special expense account for that. <laughs> so now that's the vehicle slow down by its own and I can have enough time to check if there's oncoming or cross traffic or if there are any special um, traffic regulations so speed control will be done by the vehicle and I'm uh, responsible for traffic regulations like traffic lights or traffic signs yeah and uh, for the traffic uh, rules so if there's a, a oncoming or cross traffic or like a school area or something exactly particular speed limits. So all these systems, uh, all the, the, um, the speed limits are read by the map information, not by the signals on, on the side of the street? No, it's uh, a little bit more complex. So um, we take the map as one source and the camera as another source and we fusion it together so that we get the best information about the speed uh, limit. So with um, the, the Stronic Plus uh, I know if you're in a highway with clear marks on the on the road, the car steering on itself, and yep. you can actually let off the wheel for a few seconds. Mm -hmm. But what would happen? What would happen in a roundabout? Can the car steer that much, or there's like an angle that can stop steering? On its um, the the car uh, does a supportive steering, and uh, the driver has to do it at the final uh, steering through the roundabout. I, I will show you this on the road. Okay. Um, let's uh, let's count how often I have to re-engage the Stronic uh, okay. and our uh, test drive, and uh, how often or demo drive, and how often I have to uh, brake or accelerate the system. Okay. So now this, the vehicle slows down for the T-junction, as you can see here. Mm -hmm. And there's the traffic regulation. It says stop, so I have to brake the vehicle into the stop because of the traffic regulation. And now I can. mentioned before the system is dependent on the uh, dynamic select so I now want to change to the echo mode because inside the echo mode um, during the echo mode we can um, we do intelligent downhill coasting okay so the vehicle knows out of the map that, that there is, will be downhill uh, a downhill uh, route and decide by its own uh, to switch off the engine now the engine is switched off and oh yeah zero RPMs Correct, and so system. it not only tells you, I mean, helps you for safety, helps you for efficiency too. Exactly. 
and the, the, the engine will be re-engaged. If it is um, better to charge the battery, then let the vehicle roll. Because downhill you can charge battery. Oh, okay, so if we were like, oh, we're still in the downhill, yeah. how come it's not stopped the engine now? Because the system now um, uh, have to brake and uh, the brake energy is uh, collected to oh, the battery. Okay, so okay. the battery You're will recharging recharge. energy okay, right now. So now. And the system brakes, now I have to set have, have the set speed within 90 kph. Uh -huh. yeah. And the system controls the speed through the curves by its own. So it slows down and uh, accelerates back to my set speed I've, I've set. The system shows me what it, uh, for, for what it will uh, adapt the speed. So the speed will okay. be adjusted for a curvy road now. And it will say me how much it will be uh, adapted. Now close to 90 kph. And after that it goes up to 100 again. If there's and now there's also reading the cars in front of us. Correct. Also, so it's like and the cars in front of us will be displayed as well if there are any cars. So they will appear directly. Now it's now going down. down. Yeah. Now you can oh, see yeah, that the, the car. cars also seen. So now I change to uh, comfort mode back. So the comfort mode is um, different to the eco mode. So the braking is a little bit later, but the curve speed is uh, as high as in the eco mode. And again, in this situation, the li lines are pretty well marked, so it's like uh, guiding the car pretty much through that, right? Let's let's show. Uh, so this is a very narrow road with a yeah. huge turnings. So the system uh, supports you very correct, wow. but uh, it gets on on his edge. So the system border um, is very very close. So this is why. Um, we, now we can reach the system border, uh, not that close, uh, that we will inform the driver that he has to be in loop. Oh, yeah, now, it is, now he's been informed acoustically yeah, uh, that because you need take to care, that, take yeah. care, this is my system border, uh, I will uh, let you on a safe trip. So that the driver can feel the system board, that, that we won't uh, give him the feeling that he's in a highly automatic car because it, it's just uh, partly automatic. Mm -hmm. It's an assistant system. So now I change to sport mode to show you the difference. You feel that the brake will be released to get the higher speed through the curve yeah. and the dynamic is higher than before. What do you think how fast we can go through this curve ahead? 60. It doesn't care the system but uh, calculate it for me. <laughs> and where, where would that be? It will be 60, correct. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pedestrian. Which we don't see too much on the highway, I guess. <laughs> so and now we reach a city limit. So my set speed will be adapted before the city limit that I reach the speed of the city limit at the city border. So there's a city sign right and, here, now, yeah. and now I got the speed for the city. So I mean there's really no reason to get a speeding ticket anymore, right? I mean if you right. if you go by the information in the car. Right. Like, and now the roundabout, you can see it. You see yeah. the roundabout, it decelerates. I can check if there's traffic. No, there's no traffic and now I got steering support and I do the final steering through the roundabout. Okay. And the system accelerates back. So, and if I want to do overrule it, I can do this. Just stop it. Yeah. Oh, the speed. You mean? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now I have to take care because there will be a speed camera ahead. Does it <laughs> warn you for speed cameras? No, too? it's uh, uh, it's forbidden to get a warning device inside the car. Oh, really? Yeah. But there, in some countries, they, by law, they have to tell you there's coming, right? I think in Europe, I think in France, I've seen like warnings yeah. that there's gonna be a camera. That might, might be yes. Yeah. Oh, so the the, the the there's laws against putting like a warning for speeding camera. Correct. Hmm. Well, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> like in some states, in the United States. Yeah. It's illegal to use the mm -hmm. speed radar. Why, why do you need uh, speed cameras when you get uh, informed of them? Yeah, I know. <laughs> so uh, I think the, the state can save money uh, if 
<laughs> yeah, we just want to collect your money. If they legalize, yeah. if they legalize such systems. Yeah. <laughs> so, very smooth distance control. So I want to um, close up to this car. I want to fall in closer so I can switch um, the, my set distance. I go back to comfort mode because I like this uh, in city. It's very easy. And Ah, there's a T-junction ahead. Let me see. Oh, okay. So the system tells me that there will be a T-junction? Mm -hmm. Correct, there is a T-junction. So the vehicle slows down. If you have put the turn signal, would it help you start steering in that direction or not? No, not. Because it doesn't, it isn't calculated how, uh, when and how much steering it, it will be needed. Oh, okay. So. Now I have re-engaged the system once after uh, more than 10 minutes driving on a rural road. Yeah. In the past it has been much more. I mean, when they say it's like intelligent car, it's really intelligent. <laughs> more than some drivers, right? Yeah, it, it, it is really heavy to... Um, calculated the correct speed and the braking point all the time and yeah. uh, everybody did it in a special way and some some person uh, get a better feeling for speed and some not so the system is uh, takes the job out of them and uh, they get uh, everybody gets the same feeling how to drive through the curve now we got on the uh, better roads um, uh, it's curvy as well but it's wider and um, with good parking so the system is working really properly and I want to show you now our hands-off system that uh, informs the driver that uh, he isn't, uh, hasn't had his hands at the wheel so after 30 seconds first acoustical warning gets up and it will be illuminated by a full display and the yellow flashing uh, icon and what happened if you like wouldn't like react to that that is what I want to show you. Oh, okay. So, so that kind of scenario that we just went through is like, for example, someone might have like a fainted or had a heart attack or something like exactly, that. Exactly, yes. So the car would avoid a, a much worse, I mean, that's already bad, but it would a, a avoid like a, 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 an accident. Uh, accident with the, with the oncoming traffic or cross traffic or yeah. passing uh, the, the, the road. So the best uh, thing is then stopping the car. Yeah. In this worst situation, getting the driver getting a heartache. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you don't want to hurt other people. Yeah. So and now I want to show you the active lane change. So we now we got on a road with uh, more than one lane in my direction. And if I um, tip the indicator lever, the indicator will be hold on during the lane change automatically, and the car will change its lane. It will be checked if uh, the lane is uh, free you want to uh, go to and if it's free then it goes directly and if it's not free like this yeah then, no then the system stays uh, in passive mode and waits until it's free and if it's free the indicator will be activated by automatically and the car changes lane now i have to reactivate the active lane change because the time has been gone until uh, Lane change is possible. Oh, okay. So, um, when we talk about autonomous driving uh, levels, there we talk about five, right? This is two, but it's like almost, almost like going through the next level because this is done much more than I have ever seen in any other car. So, um, you're c totally correct. That we are talking about five levels. So this is level two, so the power is a partly automated system. The, power stay, the driver stays uh, all the time responsible for driving. Um, yes, what, uh, so we, we close up to autonomous driving uh, very securely, so that uh, we have to know everything about every situation. It's, uh, it's not responsible to, to make, make a level three or four system uh, without knowing each situation yeah. can happen at the road. So now we know everything about um, speed adaption and learn very 
much about uh, traffic regulations and traffic oncoming infrastructure. So as I mentioned before, the, the active lane change doesn't work on uh, roads with just one uh, lane in my direction. I will show you this. So there will be no lane change now. There is a. Oh yeah, it, a, it, it under, the car is intelligent enough to know that there's no. Exactly. So and the car uh, decides uh, if a lane change is possible or not dependent on the lane type. So if it is a solid lane, it won't do a lane change. Okay. And if it's a dotted lane, then the lane change is possible. So moving forward to all, like the, the ultimate autonomous driven car, I mean, it has to have to do with a lot of the infrastructure out, around the cars, other cars, right? I mean, it's like the cars can do some some of the stuff or most of the stuff, but there's when we get to that level, whenever that is, 20 years, whenever, it's gonna have to be a lot of interaction with the infrastructure, right? The, the information about the infrastructure is really uh, necessary to do this. So now, the car is, uh, I had said it to the car that I wanna turn here, and he slowed down for turning. Because I have uh, set the indicator, yeah, and now I can turn by my just turn, and the uh, speed will be controlled by the car. So all these systems, besides uh, helping you with safety, makes that ride much more comfortable too, right? Like you, exactly. you don't have to worry about that that many yep. other things. Yeah, I have you to, still have to pay attention, but you can relax a little bit. Yeah, I have to stay, uh, pay attention and uh, uh, do the final um, steering. Yeah, I got supported steering, but the final steering. I have to but it's, uh, it's possible to uh, discuss uh, or having a phone call uh, over the yeah. Uh, over the air. So it's easier, as you mentioned, yes. And I guess it's, uh, I mean, the first time I, I uh, tested this Tronic Plus, I mean, you have to learn to trust it. <laughs> because, <laughs> I mean, it's eventually gonna do it, but sometimes you think, ah, I don't know. But what do you think now about this Tronic? No, I love it. I mean, even the, the previous generation, I, I recently drove a GLC mm -hmm. from Miami to Daytona, mm -hmm. which is 254 miles. I know, I know so, this, uh, I-95. Yeah. Uh, so I set it up at 85 miles an hour, yeah. just knowing that I would never reach that speed because of the traffic. Mm -hmm. But I set it up there and I pretty much, I mean, I've done that, 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 that drive before. And it's tiring. I mean, like if you are paying attention the whole time, like you get much tired. When I arrived there, not only it felt shorter, but I wasn't that tired because I wasn't that so tense the whole yeah, time. I was just I relaxed because knowing the car that could move, do the acceleration, the the braking when other cars were coming in, like getting into my lane and all that. So it really worked. So that's what I said before. It makes the ride much more comfortable. And uh, the relaxed uh, feeling you got on highways. Uh, you got it now also on uh, rural city, roads yeah. because uh, you mustn't care about curves, roundabouts and stuff. It will be done by the system. Obviously here in Europe and the United States the map information is pretty accurate. Mm -hmm. How would that affect in other countries when there's not so much information? Um, for example China. Yeah. China um, do um, special things with the map. so they. Also, do oh, okay. The bus decides to okay. I have engaged the I activated the brake twice, yeah, and re engaged the system twice, yeah. Because so, I mean, that there's certain situations that you cannot predict, exactly. right? Or Correct. the car cannot read, yeah. So, um, about the map data, um, the map data uh, in China is. Uh, uh, scrambled by the government. Yeah. So, uh, but the features we uh, I've shown you today will be available in China as well. So, uh, it will work uh, all over the world. We are working on it on this. Okay. Real goal. Well, really impressive. Thank you very much for Thank the ride. You. And uh, I guess we should not only test it but learn to trust it too. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thanks.